My name is Veronica DeCecco. I'm a mineralogy research technician here at the Royal Ontario Museum. And today I'm talking to you from the third basement of the museum where we keep our mineral and meteorite collections. Recently, the NASA-led OSIRIS-REx mission collected a sample from the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. And if everything goes according to plan, this sample is going to be returning to Earth in the year 2023. And Canada, through the Canadian Space Agency, contributed a laser scanning instrument called OLA to the mission. And because of that, for the first time, Canada is actually entitled to some of that sample return material, which is fantastic. Everybody loves access to scientific material. Um, as part of preparing for this mission, the ROM had a special role in that we loaned specimens of rocks that we think are most similar to the composition of Bennu in order to test the instruments. So the samples that we loaned are actually types of very rare meteorites called CM chondrites. I have an example of one of these types of meteorites with me here. This is called Murchison. Uh, this is a very old meteorite that actually is part of a larger group of meteorites called carbonaceous chondrites. And as the name suggests, these meteorites contain small amounts of carbon. This carbon also contains amino acids and organic compounds. So it's very, very primitive material, relatively unchanged from the beginning of the solar system. As scientists here at the museum, we study these meteorites because they unlock keys to the formation of the solar system and to the formation of our planet. We actually find small amounts of these types of uh, grains in them called calcium aluminum inclusions, or CAIs. So I have another piece of mercury system with me here that has been cut open like you would slice off the edge of a slice of a loaf of bread. And inside you can see these white fluffy areas uh, and these while they don't look all that impressive or super cool they are calcium aluminum inclusions uh, and they are basically made of stardust they're protoplanetary grains and dust that formed at the very beginning of the solar system 4.56 billion years ago and so by studying these materials we can understand more about how we came to be on this planet Recently, actually, a very cool study came out from a different piece of Murchison that was studied through a different institution. And they found some of the earliest form grains to ever be identified in material that has been found. And these are small grains of silicon carbide that have been age dated to be over 7 billion years old, meaning that they came from something that existed before our solar system. And this is why the ROM exists, in order to safeguard these materials so that us and future generations can understand how our solar system and our planet came to be and how we came to be on this planet.